Guys if you want to get free gifts so like this video, subscribe and turn on bell notifications and comment your username. Hey what's going on guys welcome into my channel Ripex and here today in this video I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Fortnite chapter 3 on your any PC build. So without wasting any time guys let's go straight into this video. So guys first of all you need to download a Fortnite chapter 3 FPS boost pack from the website link of the website into the descriptions of this video. So guys open the video descriptions and there is the download link so you need to click on the link and that will take you here onto my this website. Once you are here, go for the search icon and type here FPS Boost. Once you search for the FPS Boost, so guys, this post will become on the top. So you need to click here onto this post. Now click here onto this download button. Scroll down and here you will find out this download button. Click here on this download button. Now click on subscribe on YouTube and this will take you here on my channel. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications. And once you do it, so this link will be guys automatically unlock on your pc for downloading this boost pack so guys once this link is unlocked here on your pc click here on this link and that will take you here onto this google drive click here on this download button and download this pack on your pc so guys once you download this pack here on your pc simply guys drag it here on your desktop and you will get this zip file open up this zip file and drag this folder here on your desktop now close out this winrar file and open up this folder. Here is guys bunch of files for the best rush pack, the program, the chapter 3 best config and the time resolution for lowering your input delay into this new chapter. So guys now how to use this pack simply open up this first folder and here is a bunch of guys registry files for your PC for guys every guys component of your PC for your hardware, for your network, for your GPU, for your RAM, everything. So guys you need to install all these registry files one by one on your PC. So here guys once you install all of these registry files on your PC now go back into the previous folder and here is guys our second folder which is the program so open up this one and here is guys bunch of software for your RAM for your CPU and for your GPU so guys first of all open up this software which is the MZ RAM so you need to double click here and install the software I also have made a dedicated video for this software and you can also guys watch that is the full explanation video so simply install that software which I gave you in the pack and here is guys I have already installed the software on my pc and right now i'm also using it here on my pc so guys here it is running in my background in the system tray so first settings guys which you need to do go into the system uh, speed up sections and follow all of the settings which i have done here then hit onto the apply value then go into the options tab and from here guys now follow this value again and this is the most important guys thing into the software you need to put the value into the first box that is the guys 2500 mb and also follow the same value in the other boxes now again guys hit apply but make sure to check my care onto the load on the windows startup then hit apply and once you guys do it now simply close out the software this will keep running here in your background so guys once you do it now again open up the boost pack install the next software which is the park controller and guys this is the one of the best software for optimizing your cpu and guys i already using on this and guys i'm also using this software on my own pc for getting more performance out of my cpu you need to follow all of the settings of the software first of all click on this drop down select out the bitsum high performance click on make activate and guys set all of the settings onto the 100 percent hit apply now check mark onto this box which is the bitsum dynamic boost enable and this is the guys enable your all the core and the thread of your cpu now select the bitsum high performance from here click ok and click ok again and this will also keep running here in your system background in your system tray whenever guys you turn on your pc now guys here is the last software which is the throttle stop and this is the software for your gpu but i will not recommend you guys use it so i'm going to show you another settings for your gpu so guys make sure to watch this complete video till the end so now go back into the previous folder go for the third folder which is the chapter 3 config settings open up this one here is guys two folder for the low end and the very low end pc for the other pc for the mid end pc or the high end pc you can guys use whatever settings you want to use but for the low or for the very low end pc you need to use these config file settings so for example guys i have a low end pc so i open up this folder right click here copy this file now go for windows search and type here run and press enter now type here app data press enter go into this local folder go for the fortnite game folder save config windows client and simply paste it here 
and replace the file destinations and this will guys replace these files and also change your all the settings into the fortnite except your key binds your sensitivity except your d settings just this will change your resolution or your graphic settings so guys once you do it now close out this folder and here into this boost pack now again go back into the main directory of over this boost pack here is the timer resolution which is our last software for reducing the delay of our keyboard and the mouse into the fortnite so guys make sure to drag this folder here on your desktop because this is the important software and you will guys keep it here on your uh, desktop always you can uh, delete out this boost pack if you want but guys don't delete the software because this is software which we'll use regularly on our pc so how to use it you already guys now double click here click on this maximum button minimize the software now launch your fortnite or any other games and guys you will get literally very low input delay in any game which you want to play but this video is especially for the fortnite so guys this is one of the best input reducing software for the fortnite into this new chapter so guys i hope so you love this video so please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification smash a like on this video and also leave your epic username into the comment sections of my this video for guys winning the gift from my this channel so guys until till the next video peace out